हेलो हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल नाउ यस सो कैन वी स्टार्ट एंड मी यस यू आर यू आल्सो नाउ यू आर आल्सो फाइन ओके ग्रेट सो देयर इज नो मोर एरर प्रॉब्लम आई डोंट थिंक सो टिल नाउ नॉट ओके एक्सीलेंट सो हाउ मच टाइम इट विल टेक टू फ्लुएंट लाइक यू गाइस आर स्पीकिंग सो कैन what can i do <laughs> you can just give some kind of tips so that i can improve like you guys are improving uh, you guys are speaking so i know it will take some time but i am ready for that sure okay i'm going to give you some tips shortly hmm. um what i can say to you is you need to practice hmm. um i'm sure you've heard the saying before hmm. practice makes perfect Yes, practice makes men perfect. Yes, yeah, so yeah, the, there's there's a methodology to learning English. Um, let me explain it to you. It's going to take about five minutes. No problem. Okay. So, for you to the first thing you have to do, you have to have vocabulary. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And. I'm just going to give I don't know if I shared this link with you before but let me share it with you again. Okay. For you to speak like a native speaker you have to be you have to know 3000 words around about 3000. Okay? So I sent you the link with these 3000 words. But this is just the words. It doesn't say much but I want to tell you how you approach it. Yes. You need to give yourself 10 months. 10 month. 10 months. Okay. So what you do is you learn 10 words a day. Okay? And if you do it every day because let's say each month you do it for 30 days, it means 30 times 10. So you're going to be learning 300 words in a month. Okay? And if you take that times 10 months, it will be 3000 words. But this is how you do it. You take one word. Let's say for example, the word we are learning, one of the words is beautiful. You write beautiful, then you write 10 sentences with the word. For example, I have a beautiful family. Okay. Then you try and make it a bit more complex. Like um if I learn to speak English, I will have a beautiful job one day. Um I think um there are many things in life that are beautiful. So you must write 10 sentences because you are practicing with the word. It's like Let me explain it like this. Do you know the golf player called Tiger Woods? Which one? Tiger Woods. Tiger Wood. Yeah, have you heard of Tiger Woods? No. Oh. Tiger Woods is an American golf player. He used to be the best golfer in the world for many years. Okay. And he would hit about 10,000 golf balls a day. Oh. Uh-huh. and and he would hit them to get them to 100 meters so he would hit one and he would be at 99 meters he hit another one 95 hit another one 100 hit another one and practice and practice so that is how why i say you must learn 10 sentences or write 10 sentences a day because in that way you're going to practice and practice and practice So when you finish writing 10 sentences with the word beautiful you're not going to forget it then you need to associate a picture with that word okay yes. so um do you have a wife do you have a wife yes yes i have okay then you put a picture of your wife and under right un- underneath that right there my wife is beautiful okay, okay. so You've got 10 sentences and you've got a picture. 
So that is how you remember it in your brain. Then let's say the next word you're going to learn is excavator. excavator. Then you can excavator as an example, right? Mm -hmm. You can say um, caterpillar is a manufacturer of excavators. And then you take a picture of an excavator and you put it next to the word excavator. And then you say to build a house, you need to use an excavator to dig the foundations. Okay, so you write 10 sentences with the word excavator. Mm -hmm. If you can't think of 10 sentences, Google the word excavator and some examples and write them. And then put a picture of an excavator. So you need to do this every single day. So what, what you're doing, you're learning vocabulary, and you are reading because you're reading what you write and you are writing. So you're doing three of the five things that you need to do in English. Okay. Yeah. That's the one part. The second part is you must stop listening to any Hindu radio station or Tamil radio station. No more speaking your language. Okay. So when you wake up in the morning, you put on and the radio, like you can listen to um, LBC. LBC stands for Leading Britain's Conversation. I just want to type it for you. I just want to send you the link. Okay. LBC. So okay. You, you listen to LBC because we, we have a saying. Good input is good output. Like, if you eat healthy food, you will be a healthy person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the same thing. You want to get some good input. Because listening and reading is what we call passive learning. Okay. You don't have to do anything. All you've got to do is you've got to take information in. But active learning is writing okay. and speaking because now you've got to think. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you listen to LBC, what's also good is listen to Bloomberg. Bloomberg um, every day, every day um, podcast. Listen, podcast. Yeah. Bloomberg. Yeah, Bloom day. yeah Bloomberg has got uh, podcasts every day. And the nice thing about Bloomberg mm -hmm. is they speak about current affairs. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they're going to speak about stuff like um, what's happening in the markets, what's happening in the world. Mm -hmm. um, like, for example, the, the vaccine of the coronavirus, um, where people are investing a big money at the moment. Um, you're going to have economies, currencies, um, world news, all of that. So, yeah, you want to start getting some good information in. So you must, you must, you must do that. So that is going to be for your listening. Then you must use an application called Voss Screen. Okay. Voss Screen. Yeah. Could you please send me the link for Bloomberg Everyday Podcast? This is application or what? Um, you can get it on um, you can get it on Spotify. Spotify. But you can also get it for um on on Google. On Google. Yeah. Let me. Yeah. Let me just. I'm going to send you the um. Bloomberg link now. Hold on one second for me. Okay, okay this is the Bloomberg one. Okay. And then I want to send you the one for Boss Screen. Okay. Yeah, Boss Screen. 
is a interactive application. So what Voss Screen is, mm -hmm. you will get a video clip out of a movie. Okay. Okay. Let's let's say the movie is going to be a movie about Titanic. Titanic. Okay. Yeah. Then it's gonna yeah. So for example, but right, then you're going to they're going to play you a piece of the movie. So so you see the movie and maybe someone in the movie says hurry up the ship is going down. Mm -hmm. Then it will stop and then select what did they say? Did they say um take your time the ship is not sinking or did they say hurry up the ship is going down? You need to click on the right answer. Okay. Okay, so that is interactive. So that is what you do to get listening in. So listening is LBC Radio, okay. uh, Bloomberg, Bloomberg, and Voss Voss Screen. Screen. Okay. Yeah, so that's three applications you use to do listening. LBC, then you need to... LBC, sorry? LBC, Bloomberg, Voss Screen. Yes. Okay. Then you need to get what we call reading okay. and comprehension. Okay. And the way you do that is you find an article that you want to read, and the best website for that is engu.com. Yes. That's the one that we use in class at the moment. Okay. So you read the article, you do the little bit of vocabulary in the beginning, mm -hmm. you read the article. Mm -hmm. But you need to read the article two or three times that you understand the article. Okay. Not just a shallow understanding. You must have what we call deep understanding. Deep you understanding. must. You must know what the article is saying to you. Yes. And answer the question because the questions will give you feedback on your comprehension of the article. Of the articles, yes. Okay. You can start with make it easy for you in the beginning start with level six or engu engu level yeah six. start with level six when you do it on your own okay yes okay because the words are quite easy to pronounce there's not a lot of new learning okay okay now that's everything that you learn so you've listened you've read you've done your vocabulary now you need to practice that hmm. And you practice that on Cambly. So we can speak about something that you want to know about. If you don't understand everything, we can quickly go through your vocabulary that you learned for the day. Um, maybe your your 10 words, you can just read one or two sentences mm -hmm. um, so that I can just check that you, and I'll ask you one or two questions about the vocabulary just to check mm -hmm. that your understanding is 100%. Okay. I okay. Heard. Yes. Okay. So all of this is probably going to take up two to three hours of your day. Okay. Yes. Okay. But if that's your goal to be a proficient speaker, like a native speaker, mm -hmm. then you need to you need to do this. It's like going to work. If you want to earn money, mm -hmm. you must work eight hours a day or six hours a day minimum. Six hours a day. Yeah. Okay. But but the rule is you want to stop any native language that you have. Yes. So at home, at home, change everything. Um, if you have, for example, if you want some good ideas, is take a word like television mm -hmm. and print it out and stick it on the television and microwave. Put it on the microwave, the, the word microwave, yes. so that you keep on seeing these words. Um, yeah, I see behind you it says life is the flower for which love is the honey. Is the honey. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you want you want those type of things. Yes. Um, you don't want anything in, in, in your native language. Yes. Okay, so you must only talk your native language if you have to, if there's no other alternative. Yes, I actually, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that is this is how you approach the whole situation, yes. um, and in doing that, um, you will start 
becoming very very good so uh, and for pronunciation like uh, like when we are talking there is some mother tongue influence is there okay so yeah. yes so i think uh, how how we can overcome this kind of problem also in the reading in the reading yeah yeah when when you read the article to me yes and when you do your sentences and you write them mm-hmm. if you read them to me um then i will listen for that because you've got two different parts you've got pronunciation and then you've got what we call your natural accent yeah okay, okay. the natural accent we we don't worry on changing your um, accent because then it's going to be it's very difficult because then um it's not natural okay um so your natural accent you can keep that um it sounds great to hear somebody that's indian that speaks english but the pronunciation part is what we're going to focus on okay okay so accent i wouldn't worry about um but pronunciation is what what we worry about yes um and if there's some words that you're struggling you can just google pronunciation of the word and it will show you how to pronounce it just remember you must listen to the pronunciation in british not in american i'm um, british pronunciation british the reason why i say that is india was colonized the southern part was colonized by britain many years ago okay so you've got a lot of british influence in india okay uh-huh because if you now start learning to pronounce and an accent like an american mm-hmm. now you've got english in two different forms okay you've got like potato potato okay. you have tomato tomato so yeah you don't want to start learning everything twice double cuz then it's going to take you 6 hours a day okay. and you're going to get confused Okay. So because India mm-hmm. is was British um rule or colonized many years ago okay, yeah. um stick stick to British stick to learning from the Oxford dictionary okay and from the Cambridge dictionary Cambridge. So Oxford and Cambridge So when you read any reading material okay um try try and read it from um Oxford and and Cambridge Okay Okay. So, um any any questions? Yeah, so I want to tell you that if we are, if we what we are planning for session for coming sessions still I have yes. lot of time means coming forward. So what how how you can make me to that level so that I can so what are the uh, things we can implement in this our conversations daily sessions so that I can improve and I can do some kind of practice. So you can just tell okay. me the resource because uh, tomorrow onwards i will go for uh, i am cancelling my pre- uh, uh, upcoming classes from other uh, other tutor and i am uh, yes. uh, i am planning to go for your session only i am scheduling the session for all the session yes. because i have uh, like one one week five day session 30 minutes of so you can okay. make, so you can make any uh, means any you can make that such kind of plan for me that w- so that that give me so, so much of effectivity of learning english yes so what i want to do is for the first 5 minutes i want to listen to the words that you've written down okay. your 10 words for the day okay the, i want to do that for the first 5 or 10 minutes okay just to make sure because the most important thing for you now is to get your vocabulary up to 3000 because okay. once you've got that then it's easy to work with with other things so first we do the words then after that i want you to select an article from the engu site okay and you share the link with me okay. and i listen to how you read okay and we discuss the question so we do speaking and we do reading in the class because um i want to I need to get your active learning okay. up. Okay. Okay, yes, yes. Okay. All right. So Good. So uh 10 words a day where I can found uh this one na that uh, Yeah, I the, sent you the okay, link. Let yes, me just yes. send it to you again. Okay, okay. ef.com. Yes, I got it here. Yeah. 
ef.com so daily i am preparing this 10 words and i am going to uh, uh, tell uh, i will i am going to tell you about this words with the uh, with the sentence correct yes yeah you need to write 10 sentences yes i need but to in the class in the class we maybe just do two of we just do three or four sentences okay or maybe two of them okay some okay. of the words are going to be quite easy mm-hmm. because it's basic english okay um but some of them are going to be a little bit more difficult like you have effect yes effect okay so it sounds very similar okay. but they mean different things yes 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 so it's i'm going to take it's going to take some time mm. um but don't put too much pressure on yourself yeah we're going to do it step by step yes yes um english is like a puzzle imagine the puzzle has got yes. 1000 pieces Okay. We need to put in a piece by piece. There's you can't build a house without bricks and you need to put one brick at a time. Mm-hmm. Um that's just how how it works. Okay. So, yeah, we need to do it just a step by step. And then for 4 days we can do this type of activity and maybe on the 5th day mm-hmm. we can do um just general conversation about anything where we don't use any material. Okay. We can just speak about like everyday topics like maybe food or okay. online shopping or renewable energy or okay. stuff like that. Okay. And then maybe in in the every alternate week we can maybe do some alt preparation. Mm-hmm. Just so that you continually have the structure of alt in in the back of your mind. Okay, yes. Okay, so we can we can try like that. Um it's very effective. I use this method with most of my students and I've seen some really really good results. Okay, yes. So, okay. I need to go for like American English or I should go for like British. British only. No? British. British. British only. Yes. Okay. Yeah. If you hear an American speak, you're going to understand them. Okay. But I teach British. My my local language is British English. Okay, yeah. um we don't speak american english um but it's 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 kind of the same thing there's only a few words that have different meanings like for example if you are driving in your car mm-hmm. and you get a piece of steel through your tire uh uh-huh. we say you have a puncture yes okay but in america they say you have a blow out blow out blow out a blow out but in british english blow out is okay blow out, blow out. Yes. yes but in america a uh, blow out doesn't mean okay blow means but blow out means to have a puncture also another thing that's different is when you go and wash your hands mm-hmm. you need to open the tap the tap yeah the tap the tap yeah in america they call a tap a faucet i don't know if you've heard of that faucet a faucet faucet yeah faucet a faucet yes. okay so that is one difference in terms of a noun that is different between british and american english yes yes okay but they so small differences that i wouldn't i wouldn't worry about that but if you this ask- whole Mm. if we understand british english so that uh, it, it is automatic uh, means we can understand american english as well or, or not yes no you will understand it perfectly yeah i'm under- it's just you you will hear the difference in pronunciation okay yeah yeah that's the only thing but if for you you don't have to practice that pronunciation mm-hmm. okay yeah so yeah this is how this is the plan Now we just need to put the plan into action. Yeah, we need to put this plan into the actions, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and it will it will really really help you. Okay.